Hello again. Uh, this is our final day in the book of Habakkuk. Um, thank you for uh, journeying with us. We have walked through Habakkuk's wrestlings with God with questions that that um, he wants answers for with God's presence with Habakkuk in the midst of those questions. And that brings us to the end of this book. And I have always loved the end of the book of Habakkuk. The closing um, these closing verses speak about the faith that I long to have, even in the midst of hardship and disorientation. Beginning um, in verse 17, Habakkuk writes, Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vine. Though the olive crop fails, and the fields produce no food. Though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of the deer, and he enables me to tread upon the heights. I love these verses because Habakkuk's faith is not a gullible optimism that insists that everything will work out just fine all the time. There are no figs on the vine. There are no cattle. Things do not look good. Yet in the midst of this, Habakkuk will praise God anyway. I find that often um, in the midst of hardship, we tell ourselves to count our blessings or to be thankful that things aren't as bad as they could be. But that's really not the message that we see here in Habakkuk. Instead, he offers a different way of approaching confusion and hardship. There is honesty about what is difficult and challenging. There is a recognition that things aren't how we want them to be, that things aren't how they should be. And there is a willingness to praise God anyway. A recognition that it is God who will give the strength, courage, and perseverance to face whatever may come. We may not always be able to praise God in hardship, and that is okay too. The Psalms are actually filled with examples of people who are crying out to God in anger, desperation, and grief. But I appreciate the honesty and vulnerability of praise in the midst of calamity and distress. I pray that God would give me and all of us a little more faith like Habakkuk.